Welcome back everyone to Talking It Out with Bachelor Nation. Yes, you heard it, with Bachelor Nation. We're revamping the show, same, same conversations. Mike and I are gonna get into it with tons of great guests from the Bachelor franchise. And we're just excited to roll out this new version of our show. On Thursdays, we're gonna be coming out with new episodes right after the show airs. So get ready for a lot of tea to be spilled. Just like the homie Brian said, we're gonna be having the same amazing, fantastic conversations like you guys like to hear. We're gonna go in depth. I'm trying to see some people cry. I'm trying to get to the nitty gritty. That's what Brian and I are here for. It's gonna be your favorite Bachelor Nation guest. And of course, we gotta bring homies from outside the Bachelor Nation family as well because we're here at Talking It Out, we're one big family. We're gonna be on Thursdays, so all the drama throughout the week, save that for your mama and talk about it when you watch and listen. Thursdays, baby, Thursdays. Mark your calendars, everyone, we're coming. And on today's show, we got fresh off the beaches of paradise, we have Aaron Clancy, he's here to break down all the drama that's happened on the beach, especially with him, especially how that episode ended last. I want to know what's up. I want to know what happens. I laugh every single time about that. <laughs> but let's get right into a minute. I know because I want to get right to Aaron. So I'm gonna go into my hot take right quick and then you do your thing. So as you know, I truly show love on Instagram, right? To all the people that I follow. Uh, I really, really, really show love. If your IG picture pops up on my feed, I'm gonna show love, right? Yeah. And so absolutely. I got a little triggered the other day because someone said. Mike, you still up in her DM? Or are you still up in her comment section or whatever? And I'm like, and I responded, you know, I'm not one to shy away from no one. And so I responded, I said, so I should just ghost follow, right? Oh, oh, no, here you go. I shouldn't ghost follow, I should just- Explain ghost follow for those that don't understand what that means. Yeah, why, I don't, it truly is triggering to me. I guess I'm the only one in this world. If you follow me, Brian, and you see my post, you don't have to like, you don't have to comment on it, of course. Yeah. But if there's something that you like about it, then show love. Yeah. Like if you're doing an ad, I got I got love for you, bro. You're my boy. Like regardless of whether you're doing an ad, you know, you're out on night on the town, whatever, you're just, you know, posting a picture up, whatever the case may be, I'm going to show love. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And there's yeah. no reason why you wouldn't be able to do that with a woman, right? There's, there's like, there's levels to it, of course. Like you're married to Rachel, but just the other day she did the Emmys. I was like, phenomenal i think i yeah. said something like that right which is like yeah. respectful but i'm still showing love to big sis you know what i'm saying and or one of the other ladies within bachelor nation i want i want to make my people that i follow i want them to feel great about themselves show like, them some love that? show yeah. them some love there's nothing wrong with that now with that being said right what i don't do is i'm like I ain't, i'm not going to give rachel the the uh the heart eyes right or the eye that's just that's the emoji that you don't do when someone's yeah. in a relationship right that's like but are you tripping, you know? Yeah. Nor, nor will I not do. When I'm in a relationship, I might just like the photo. I'm not going to be like commenting like I will comment now because yeah. I don't want to be disrespectful to my woman. And I, I feel like that's disrespectful, right? Yeah, you don't so, violate. You yeah, don't violate. violate. You're totally respectful whether you're single and they're single or whether the other person's in a relationship. You always Correct. keep it respectful. Correct. So this is the beauty of talking about. I'm the single guy. You're the married guy, right? So me being single... Even though I may not like these girls, like on a romantic tip, I still show them love because they're my friends. Of course. But of when course. I'm in a relationship, oh, that's just not happening. Yeah. You know, so it pisses me off that fans are like, oh, you still trying to give her breath? No, I'm just showing love. Like, I think I got some funny ass captions sometimes. Like, yeah. I, I commented on Thomas's post the other day. I was like, the the way Thomas looks at Becca is the way I look at tacos, right? I saw that. It's just... It's just whatever comes out of my mouth. DeAndre, yeah. got, she be doing some fire stuff lately. So I'll be posting or I'll comment some fire back give for her. her you give know? her a shout. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what you should. That's still be pissing me off. So that's like, do I'm they saying. feel, do you feel like the people who are criticizing you feel that, oh, you're still trying to holler at her? Like you're trying to step up in a, in a more romantic way to that person that you like their picture? You know, honestly, I'll be, I'll just, I'll spill the beans. When I first came off of uh, The Bachelor in 2019, I've never seen the show. I never knew how this world works having a blue check none of this stuff having more than 1000 followers i didn't know and so i only commented on like maybe three girls po posts or whatever right and then i noticed that reddit started picking it up people start picking it up so i was like you know what i'm They're just gonna hawks. comment i'm gonna comment on everybody's stuff so now you don't know which one i really like that's that's a smart strategy right there 
that was my whole that was my whole intent. I've been doing it ever since. I'm like, I'm just gonna show the love to everybody. But there that's my go. hot take, bro. I but just, uh, just but honestly, I feel like to be quite honest, if it's another woman complaining that oh you're still up, it was a woman that complained. Yeah, it was a woman that don't follow me would say she loved me now, which is another thing. But <laughs> she. First they love you, then they hate you, then they love she, you again. She, she followed. It was one of the girls from the Ultimate Surfer, right? I just did the Ultimate Surfer. It's a dope show. Okay. And it was one of the ladies on there. It was two of them, and I was like, I've never seen two pretty best. F and then like F R I, and then dot dot dot, like spelling out friends. Okay. Because that's what they say to Connor and I all the time, right? And so no. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with saying that? And then some woman commented on it. So yes, it was another woman. So, I mean, uh, like, it sounds to me from what the way you're describing it, I mean, you're just showing love, you know, no harm, no foul. You're not trying to, you know, get with them or anything like that. I think it's jealousy. I mean, maybe that woman wants you to be in her comments, right? Yes. You know, she would love for the, her for you to be in her comments, but instead you're in some other woman's comments. So they want to talk about that. I, for me, that's that's just hating, a lot of haterade. They're you know just jealous. I you know, when I get in a relationship, bro, I'm going to have the best comments ever for my girl. And they know other girl going to get no comments. Like, it's going to be, it's going to go from <laughs> everybody get a comment to zero comments and only one girl get all the comments. And and then everybody gonna else is like getting them. shut out yeah, in Mike's I'll, world. Yeah, I like their pictures because they, you know, I follow them, they're friends or whatever, but that's about yeah. it. Yeah. No. Right. No, so what you got for us, man? Uh, so what do I have? Uh, for my hot take today, I actually want to speak on the the love triangle if you want to call it that between Ugh. Aaron, Ivan and Chelsea. Obviously we just saw on this latest episode Ivan and Aaron are about to go to blows. I can't wait to see what happens the next week, but we actually have Aaron Clancy on the show today. We have we, I want to hear from the horse's mouth. So we rather than to. me get into my hot take right now before he comes on, let's bring him on and hear from him himself. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Right, so the other day I was coming out of the store and like the trees had turned fall colors. Like summer is over, so you already know what that means. It's a good time to find ways to bundle your home and auto insurance and save on coverage with Policy Genius. Very true, Mike. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They can help you find coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. Lower price, you got me right there. They've saved customers on average over $1,200 per year or what they're paying for home and auto insurance. So true, Mike, and it's super easy to get started. First, head to policygenius.com and answer a few questions about yourself and your property, and Policy Genius takes it from there. They'll compare rates from America's top insurers, from everyone from all states to progressive, to find you lower rates and better rates. If they find you a better rate than what you're paying right now, they'll switch you over, and for free, of course. So y'all, everybody, everybody who's listening right now, head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. You had Brian and I, I was texting Brian when I was watching uh, last night's episode. Absolutely hilarious. When they ended it <laughs> with what you said. <laughs> you said to Ivan, why your upper lip quivering? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I died. I freaking died. I couldn't stop laughing after that. No, no disrespect to Ivan. He's been yeah. on the podcast before. No disrespect. But that was hilarious. That was yeah. good TV right there. That was. It really was. It had me dying laughing. If I had popcorn, it would have been all over my floor. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest, like his upper lip was just quivering. And I, and I was, <laughs> just had to mention it. Yeah, I was a little bit um I was just confused on why that was. Like, I, you know, but <laughs> Uh, it was, yeah, I mean, we, things were getting kind of hot. Um, we were pretty heated and, and, you know, obviously, um, adrenaline's pumping, upper lips quivering, um, you know, that should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> Adrenaline pumping, upper lips quivering. Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I, you know, I, I was, I can, I guess I just, sometimes I just be saying shit, you know, Let, let's, well, let's talk about that, Aaron, like break it down. How did this all go down? Because obviously we saw Ivan step up to you guys in a group and basically say, hey, look, I'm not going to roast Chase in a nutshell. You know, I'm just going to see what happens. But he he never mentioned that he was going to go after Chelsea or whatnot. And then next thing you know, he's on the bed with her. They're kissing. And you're like, what the fuck? So can you just explain that whole situation and how that went down? Just, yeah, in, case yes. the, just in case the viewers missed something. 
Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah, and that's my biggest thing. I mean, obviously, with Paradise, I know what I signed up for. Um, everyone is is trying to get with someone. You know, it's a dating show, right? Um, I'm not mad at Chelsea or mad at Ivan. It's really just the the lack of honesty, right? Now, he, you know, he's he's pursuing something with Kendall. Um, you know, there's a lot going behind going on behind the scenes there with with her uh, still having feelings for you know grow gel right so um <laughs> so so she has feelings you know she leaves um ivan's kind of left without um an option for a rose you know he's she's at this point he's like a good friend of mine like i talked to him quite a bit um he actually yeah. offers me advice um you know or because he's been through it he's actually had a lot of more time kind of Here. in the world than i have are you talking about yeah. now he's a good friend or during no, the filming during during filming yeah okay, so okay. during okay. filming he was a friend um he was he was someone that i actually she was offering me advice you know um he's been in the world the bachelor world for a lot longer than i have and um someone that i definitely trusted uh and and he was pursuing some candles she left he told me hey um you know i'm not uh gonna rose chase i have no options i'm here to find love right i'm not here to chase a rose right he's not trying to win a game show he's trying to find a partner so Correct. um believe it he's like hey i'm just gonna turn up today i'm gonna have fun you know i'm gonna hit the bar get aquatic right so that's great you know i i'm like i'm gonna turn up with you now he he uh i go do something for chelsea i haven't seen her in a while we got quarantined when that tropical storm happened yeah can you tell us um, about that ex actually because i was curious as a, a viewer when that tropical storm happened y'all were separated yeah, so what happened was guys and girls were separated, um, okay. and we were brought to the other hotel, and we were put into rooms. Um, like, I was with James, and we were in a room, and, you know, I don't know the other the other um, combos, but everyone, I was separated. I couldn't see her for, like, a couple days now. Okay, so last um, for a few days, okay. Yeah, so the, 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 yeah, it was, it was, we were separated and, you know, we didn't have time to even interact really for about, I, I believe it was two days. Um, anyways, so I see her for the first time in, in a little bit. I want to do something special for her, obviously, because, um, you know, we, as much as we went on a date, we established a great connection. Um, I still have only known her a couple of days, you know, in the grand scheme of things. And so I definitely want to, really show her that I, I, I want to uh, pursue something with her and, and she's special to me or she's kind of the person I'm, I'm trying to do that with now. There you go. Uh, yeah. So I told her I was kind of, it was kind of cute. I can't, can't lie, but um, I was like, Hey, I haven't seen you a couple of days. You know, um, you're a model in New York. You walk the runway. Yeah. I figure the best way to put myself in your head is walk a mile in your shoes. Here's my runway. I'll, I'm going to walk it for you. Right. And I just kind of goon out on the runway, you know, try to hit some, <laughs> Michael Jackson moves, whatever. Nah, that was uh, sweet. That was sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then I, and then I, you know, we we have a conversation. It's great. She says she gravitates towards me. She, um, what I'm doing is working, right? And like what I'm feeling is also reciprocated. Um, in that moment, you know, I'm not the best at expressing feelings a lot. Um, to my, you know, disdain a lot of times. But I, I, you know, what I'm feeling is reciprocated, and I couldn't be happier about it. Now. I go, you know, go to interview, get pulled away. I come back. The guy who had just told me that he's not here to Rose Chase is, had would just watched me walk the, walk the runway and put myself out there. Uh, literally, you know, does the exact opposite of what he told me. So, so how, what, was I, the what was the duration? Cause I've been on paradise. Are we talking about like within two hours or like, what no, was that? it was fast, man. It was like less like, than that. With, like it happened within like, 30 minutes. Like so I wasn't out. like, they didn't like, you know, crazy. sometimes the show that uh, they can edit something that took no. place five hours earlier. This was like 30 within that later. same time. Wow. Yeah, okay. man. It could not have been sooner. So yeah. you were in, so you were in total shock, Aaron, but he had, he actually had mentioned something when you were doing the runway walk that he did actually think that, Yes. You were really into Chelsea. Where did yes. you get that impression? To be honest, um, I hate to say it, but he's trying to, like, cover his own tracks. Like, mm -hmm. he had a plan that he was going to do that, and he's trying to justify it. There is zero oh, things. Wow. <laughs> There's zero, like, I went on a date with her. I'm doing things special for her. We're talking. Like, he had never even talked to Chelsea in that way. 
Um, and, and that's something he's, he's voicing opinion on, which is just, which well, is what, just something. What would he, make him say that outside of, I know, you know, we, we have your speculation of he was trying to be premeditated with that. Like, was there anything else that you think that he may have said that he saw take place between you and Chelsea that he said, well, maybe Aaron really doesn't like her like that. Um, no, other than maybe he, maybe he just think I didn't spend enough time with her or maybe he would have done things differently than I did. I don't know. We, I mean, we're two different people. Um, like he, he tends to be maybe like all over someone I've, I've noticed like, or he's always spending every waking second with someone. Uh, that's just not me. Um, so maybe he thought that was the case. If, if, he, if he wasn't being premeditated, I really don't know. Um, in that scenario, like his opinion didn't matter to me at all. Uh, I was purely just concerned with uh, Chelsea and Chelsea was, you know, obviously reciprocating what I was saying and what she was saying to me was um, what I was hoping to hear. So um, what Ivan was saying didn't concern me. I was kind of surprised me seeing him say that. Yeah, um, to me too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I know the guy, he's a great guy. So I was shocked myself. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm inclined to disagree at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's I'm, great. I mean, respectfully, respectfully. Respectfully disagree. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, um, the, did yeah. you know? I'm sorry. What were you saying? I was going to say the only thing I would say, I guess, in my defense in this scenario is like he was the only one that seemed to have that opinion. Um, Noah okay. Riley were even like, uh, were even saying I was killing it or, or gassing me up a little bit. Tank was full, you know, and he was trying to bring me down. So I don't know. Yeah. How do you I, feel I, Chelsea and your relationship was on a scale of like one to 10 before Ivan did that? What would you say? Because you guys had just like had a little little make-out session, and you're telling me this happened within 30 minutes. So what would you say that level was at? Um, I, it's hard to say, like... From your perspective. Like, we... Yeah, we... we it was... It was the strongest by far with anyone else on the beach, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, I didn't have any connection stronger than, than with, I had with Chelsea. Now, I wasn't close to being in love with her, for sure. Um, I was really interested i thought she was beautiful we have a great time together um but to be honest the tammy thing at the beginning like going through it makes you a little bit more hesitant mm. you know um you don't want to put yourself so, out there so much yeah like it's hard to say like i, I really put myself out there with tammy um and then kind of got burned there and um with with chelsea like subconsciously i put up a little bit of a defense when i did enjoy the date so much and, and she started to really like become occupy my mind you know um and, and and there was and so there was that element there too but I was um she was I, all of my effort was going towards her and I was really trying um to, to pursue something with her yeah Aaron so I'm glad you actually put that in context like how close you guys were the time frame of when it happened and whatnot like I totally am on your side when it comes to this. Like I would have been pissed as well if it went down exactly how you just said. Is there a way like as far as bro code, right? I feel that Ivan should have stepped up to you and been like, look, I don't have any rose options. I'm going to do what I have to do. So I'm just letting you know right now I'm going to go yeah. speak to Chelsea straight up. I, you know, I'm respecting you as a man. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to her. I'm just letting you know if she falls for me. No, you know, mad love. You know what I'm saying? Thank it's, you. Like, okay. may the best man win in that scenario. Not that it's competition. I want to sound not, weird, not, but no, yeah. may the best man win. Dude, we're on a dating show. That's what it's freaking for. Like, I get that. Like, yeah. I know what I signed up for. I've seen it. You know, just come up to me. Let me know what's going on. Right? I'm not going to get mad at you. But don't say the opposite. Wait for me to be gone. And then pull some slick shit. Like, that's just simply not. Like that something was, was I, a respect. Fish lie. I feel you. I feel fish you on lie. that, it was, bro. It was a lie, and don't <laughs> like like I only get mad at one thing, and that's disrespect. And I know I say it all the time. I see these <laughs> memes. I see these memes, whatever, and that's fine. But like the root cause of it is just he didn't respect me enough to tell me the truth, and <laughs> and then disrespect. I just don't respect. Respect, right? No. <laughs> um, this didn't respect me enough to tell me the truth, and that is something that 
I, if there's one thing, I, I'm just going to be honest always. And I've always said, even if I was wrong, I've always said exactly what I was thinking. Um, and he just, he did the exact opposite. And so I just did not, I just did not want to, I just did not have that. You know? Aaron, let me ask you this, man. Like, cause I, I always put myself in that position that, you know, when I watch people on TV, when you saw Chelsea kissing and making out with uh, Ivan, then holding hands 30 minutes later, did your, I know you say you're not mad at Chelsea cause you understand it's a dating show, but to like, was your life for her the same at that point? Um, that's the thing. Like, no, um, just to be completely honest, like, like I, and why, and why was I, that? yeah, I like my biggest thing is like loyalty. Right. And, and mm. um, it's hard for me to put hey, some people say there. you can't be loyal till you put a ring on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, Hey, those people aren't, aren't people I'm going to be dating then. Right. But, <laughs> um, uh, but, but look, like, the, the Tammy thing happened and as, as much as I don't want to say it, it, it kind of did a little bit of like semi-permanent damage throughout the show, uh, for me. Right. And, and then when the Chelsea, when I met Chelsea and, and, you know, I started to really, you know, think about her and, and, and she was occupying my mind a lot and I was, and I was getting feelings of, of, you know, I, I was just getting feelings for her. I, I was trying really hard to open up and it was, and it was hard, but I was trying and then that happened. And then it was like, dude, did your like, like walls shut down? Like you basically and then it I, went backwards yeah, man, in it, terms of relationship. Yeah. I would say, um, if I'm being completely like, kind of like self analytical, um, yeah. my, my trust in Ivan was gone mm -hmm. and you know, Chelsea and I are laying on the day bed and I think I'm, I'm doing everything right. And I, and I, I'm, I'm thinking, I guess, like I'm really doing this despite my previous failures. And then that happens. And she seems to be, I've forgotten me completely. You know, she's holding his hand. She knows I'm right there. You know, she sees me and, and she doesn't seem to care. Um, and she knows it bothers me because the conversation we just had 30 minutes earlier. So, so it, it bothered me. Um, and, and it bothered me on, on the front of Ivan because he was a good friend of mine that I trusted and I took advice from. And then it also bothered me that another uh, girl, you know, said things to me that that were like she didn't act on the words that that she seemed to say. You know, you know what I mean? I, I don't know if I phrased that right, but it just seemed like I was kind of betrayed on two fronts when when no one was just straight up and honest with me. She didn't say she had feelings for Ivan. She she seemed to only have feelings for me. And then. Ivan was not bro chasing both of those things with boss. <laughs> yeah. You know, we love a girl that has a hot girl summer, but uh, with every woman that has a hot girl summer, there's always a guy that has a sad boy fall. <laughs> sad, boy, sad boy summer. Sad, yeah, sad, sad boy, boy summer. summer. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I was like, Dr. Joe said it perfectly. He was like, half the people here are brand new, fresh, and the other half are like birds with broken wings hobbling around. And I'm like, dude, I was. That's accurate. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, God. <laughs> and I was like, dude, like, he said that to me. And I was like, bro, like, I have a broken wing right now, for sure. And he's like, I know you do, you know? Um, and I was just trying, dude. I was, I was trying as hard as I could. You know, you see a guy like grocery store Joe and Serena and, and, um, no Abigail, you know, you, you, you see them progressing yeah, so well. And yeah, and you want that. Um, and then you just keep getting burned or, or, you know, when you're trying as hard as you can, it just, you, you can't help but just kind of spiral a little bit, you know? Talk to me about Tammy, because you brought her up a few times, man. Like you said, you know, let's say your level of confidence was a 10. Then after the Tammy situation, it went down a bit more than the Cho situation. You're just done. Uh, talk to me about Tammy. How, how, how are your feelings for Tammy? Dude, so when I met Tammy, um, like I immediately like, dude, I liked her a lot. Like she reflected my humor and energy so well. Like, um, she mirror matched me very well where I was like, and I, and I came from Katie season where like, I just wanted to be happy, bro. Like I did not want to be in drama anymore. Like I was just in too much conflict. Like it just took control of everything. I wanted to go to paradise and not be in drama. I wanted to be 
the 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 love story, dude. Like, I'm, I'm laughing at you. Say you don't want to draw what you're talking about. <laughs> Yo, and Tom then Thomas Liverpool. shows up. And then Thomas shows up. Well, I mean, dude, you're a mortal enemy. I didn't buy his. I didn't buy his plane ticket, bro. Like, bro <laughs> y'all kind of like y'all could be cousins. You and Thomas could be cousins. Uh, yeah, we, well. yeah, I mean, cause sometimes cousins hate each other. <laughs> I, I know. I believe me. I get that. <laughs> yeah. So talk to me, like how you felt when Thomas got to the beach. Like, what, so, what was going through your head? So last time I saw Thomas was Katie season. You know, um, Rose slammed off the ground. Like he he's leaves right so um and i don't like it you know so when he comes to the beach like i had a feeling that would happen but i i was like dude i'm not going to like bring this previous drama here um i'm going to try to not but but if if it happens which i know it will because i was i was kind of pessimistic and yeah i was talking shit um talk to your shit boy <laughs> yeah i was talking i was talking about shit um but I, I wasn't. I, I knew he was going to be there, so I was anticipating it, essentially. Okay. Yeah. If I if I'm not mistaken, you called him a human trash can. Is that accurate? Um. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it. All right, Aaron. Aaron, you I have, have so you have so many one liners, dude. Like I like you're I think one you're one of the, the best. Fun, yeah. I think you're one of the funniest dudes on Paradise, if not the funniest. Let's I mean, go, let's go. Appreciate see it. you on the other side. Sad boy summer. Well, I wrote some of these down. Dudes built like chopsticks. I'll snap them yes, in I'll half. Snap in half. Yes. Snaky <laughs> bitch bag. Desperate bitch boy. Slap the stupid beard off his face. Why is your lip quivering? I mean. Those are all time right there. Those are all time. Aaron, your next five IG posts needs to be captions of all this. This is you're you're like a walking meme, bro. Dude, it's it's weird because like I don't have these written down. It's like when I'm upset, they just come out. (laughs) Well, just real quick, like take us to your past. Like, where do you get that sense of humor? Like, is that something the way you talk to your boys, like growing up, or what? We'll get back to Tammy Um, in a minute. Yeah. So so yeah, the sense of humor. So. Um, it's funny. I have a great group of friends here. They're like my family. Um, when a quarantine really happened, we all just kind of only hung out with each other. Um, and, and our lingo I'm glad. really just, yeah, it just, it just escalated. <laughs> like we we had this like, uh, kind of like group vernacular that was, that was ultra, <laughs> u- ultra unique and bro but also high echelon vocabulary. So we would throw in Love words that, that, yeah, we were throwing <laughs> realisms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We do, we just throw in words that like most people they wouldn't be used very often, but the way we would we would throw them in would also be like, broy and, and and stupid, you know. So it, it's just this odd mix of of kind of a hilarious way to say things, and and we would and we would just do that all the time. We had like over a year, uh, a year and a half of guests talking to each other that way. You got a lot of practice you know? before Paradise, then. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And so and so when I came to Paradise, like the things I say and like the way I talk, like I didn't really change it all that much. And so things I would say, like, you know, uh, you know, if someone's like, for example, if my friend didn't go to the gym all that often, we call him a slug body. Right. And like, and like no one body. says that. Dude. <laughs> a, slug <laughs> like, oh, a slug body. Yeah, a slug body right? It makes sense so, though. But Aaron, yeah. I'll, I want to go back to Thomas right quick because we had Thomas on the pod. I thought he did a phenomenal job. I know Brian did too, as well. Sort of the audience. Uh, and, I was coming at Thomas hard. Like, you know my personality. We've met. I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm going to come at you. I'm going to say what's on my mind, right? And I was coming at Thomas, and he was amazing in my eyes. He truly, truly was. I felt that he's more like a, I think I said, a Kobe Bryant personality. You know, you, you fuck with him or you're not completely on the team, but then the yeah. audience will get a different perspective because they're not there with him every day. How is Thomas's personality from someone who has spent a lot of time with him. Yeah, so um, Thomas is, it's kind of hard to describe because we're not enemies now, right? Um, yeah. I don't know if you guys are going to that enemies in, now? <laughs> mortal, see, mortal enemies. Well, you switched thing. Thomas for Ivan? That's what it was? Oh my God, yes, dude. Ivan is <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> okay. Breaking Ivan, news. Ivan is, Ivan is taking the top spot right now Ivan on is, the hit list. The thing, I've, Thomas has never been disrespectful or arrogant to me. Wait, pause right um, quick. Brian, that's, Thomas is on not on the hit list no more because Thomas is way bigger than some small-ass chopsticks. That's why. <laughs> that's why? That is true. Thick. There is a size difference there. Yeah, he's a he's a thick stick, bro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the things that you say, he's a thick stick. What? 
Uh, no, so, so, uh, yeah, I mean, Thomas is, so the thing is about Thomas, like, he's, he's very cool uh, if he likes you. If he doesn't like you, he's not cool at all, right? Mm-hmm. Um, for me, day one, KD season, um, you know, Thomas is a big guy. You know, he's kind of like, I'm biggest in the room, and he is, right? But it, it's like, you're not going to, like, alpha me or, like, tell me what mm-hmm. to do. And, and I, I could tell the place he kind of wanted to take um, we kind of bumped heads initially, very small, and, and then he told uh, Courtney with a Q, um, he told Courtney that I was just full of shit, right? And then he was he was kind of like immediately talking shit, right? But the thing is, like, like um, you like I don't I don't judge people like that much uh, when I first meet them because I really don't know. But he was like he's full of shit, right? Like day two or something, and he doesn't know Courtney better than I know Courtney. You know, we both. But, but Thomas is very confident in his ability to win people over. But Courtney immediately tells me, right? Now, I don't care uh, that much because Thomas doesn't know me. It's like he might as well be a random person on the internet calling me full of shit. You know, it doesn't matter to me. No. Um, but I also know he's talking shit, right? You made somebody feel attacked right there. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Someone's going someone's gonna to be watching this podcast and comment that in the comments. Um <laughs> But yeah, so he, I knew he was talking shit and, and he didn't like me. So it, he, he wasn't very nice to me. He was nice to everyone else. He was nice to me. So there was never a point where Thomas was cool to me. Um, and then as, as, as time goes on, obviously, um, situational, like things happen where Thomas and I continuously butt heads. And then eventually this guy that has never once been cool to me called me full of shit day two. Um, two other people on the show trying to trying to you know in that in that scenario I thought he was trying to almost like um, bring people over to think I was full of shit or something I don't know why you'd be telling people that uh, when living with them in a house right um, I was like dude this guy sucks like this guy sucks like he's just talking shit and and then in paradise once I I was more successful in terms of fan recognition or just or just uh, received better than him from Katie's season, all of a sudden he was very nice to me, right? When mm-hmm. almost like he had a reason to be nice now. And when I was a random dude in the room that he didn't know I was full of shit, you know? So it, it for me, I took it like, I was like, dude, like you, you gotta be nice when being nice doesn't really uh, pay off for you. You know, it just, you're not, you're just nice. Cause you're nice. Not cause you're transactionally getting something from being nice. Yeah. You know and what then, I mean? And then obviously to add insult to injury, you see Thomas go ahead and take your girl, Tammy. What was going through your head when that went down? So, dude, like, it's t- Tammy, that day, so I give Tammy a rose. Um, afterwards, we're walking to the, uh, back to where we sleep. Um, she says, Aaron, I'm going to give you my rose next week. Like, you're my guy, right? That's what Tammy and said. And I'm like, flat out. Yeah, okay. she straight up said that's me, right? And I'm like, Okay, yeah, it's fucking awesome. Like I, I liked her so much. Like where I, I was like, security, dude, awesome. baby. Like, well, yeah, like security, but also like, dude, I just liked the girl. Like yeah. she was just dope. Like she was yeah. dope. Like at the beginning of the rose ceremony that first night, I sat her down at the very beginning uh, of the of the whole night, and I was like, Hey, Tammy, I'm gonna give you my rose tonight. Um, I don't want you to sweat tonight. I don't want you to worry. I want you to have fun. Go hang out with your friends. Drink whatever you want to do. And just know you're safe and I'm going to give you my rose. Like, and I just wanted her to be comfortable because I, I like liked her. Okay. And then she was like, thank you. And I did exactly that. And she said she was going to give me her rose after, because I think she was kind of reciprocating what I had done previously in the night. Um, that obviously didn't happen right now. The, the next, the following week after that, um, she didn't want, it almost was like, she didn't want to spend time with me ever she was talking to everyone else and what she had told me was that she was matchmaking people with other people she was like she she was like i'm matchmaking thomas with mari right because because she was like thomas is really into mari and she was like aaron you're my guy trust me i'm matchmaking thomas with mari right now was she doing that do you think she was doing that to get a reaction out of thomas to see what he was really thinking i have no idea dude like it I have no idea. But like you wanted her to, you wanted her to match make you and her. You, yeah. (laughs) Dude, I wanted to just spend some time with her. Like I constantly tried to. And 
she called me clingy or she said I was like, oh, she said I was clingy and I was like, what, what did she say? It was, um, I was smothering her. That's what she told people. And it's a red I was flag like, right there. Dude, I was like, part. I didn't know what to do. I was like, dude, I want to spend time with her. Ivan's cuddled up with Jesenia 24 seven. Noah's with Abigail. I can't spend more than like an hour or two with Tammy without smothering her. Yeah, I yeah. forgot She's about that. Ivan was trying, boy. I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah. And so, <laughs> dude, I'm I'm freaking trying here, uh, but I don't want to smother her. I don't want to seem like a loser and like insecure when she's talking to all these other people. And she told me she's matchmaking her, them. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be like the cool, like boyfriend or, you know, obviously we're not together, but I'm going to be like the cool guy and like say, and I was like, Hey, you're like team mom. Honestly, that's admirable that you're doing that. Um, I'm here for you. Right. And she's like, I'm going to go matchmake Thomas and Mari. And she's spending a bunch of time with him. And then that night, Obviously, that's not what she was doing, right? So it was a complete lie, and it was a betrayal of like just just the ultimate level. And 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 I was trying to be so like cool and not smother her, um, and, and 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 I just and and she did that in front of me, and and she knew I was watching. She even said it when she was sitting on him like, that as Aaron still looking at. I feel his eyes to the back of my head or whatever. Um, so it was like. After that, people were like coming up to me and they're like, why does Tammy hate you? Like, why does she, oh, damn. why did you get her mad? Like, and I didn't know, like, I, I didn't, I didn't, they're like, and I told her, I was like, afterwards, I was like, dude, people are coming up thinking you literally hate me because you did something so mean to me um, because they heard all that. And, and, yeah. and um, that was, and, and I, and she was like, I don't hate you. I was just, you know, and she obviously likes to kind of, play it as as she was following her heart or whatever but it was just you lied to me again like you lied to me all morning all day and you you even you did like the opposite of what i, I tried to make you feel so secure the week before and you made me feel secure just to absolutely like humiliate me and and make me just as upset as possible almost like like you just lied to me. And so that's the only thing that always constantly is kind of a reoccurring theme that I get upset about is just the disrespect and the, and the, and the dishonesty. Now, this is a great conversation to have. And I'm sorry, Brian, because no, go ahead. a lot of times we talk about, we shit on our gender. We do a lot, Brian, let's be honest, right? We talk about the men and how we do bad, but Aaron, you're bringing up great points. Women can learn how to be better yeah. as well. Like, they can play damn the game sure. probably better yeah, than like, us, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I know that to be true. Like, but women need to start being respectful as well. If they don't like you, they need to come at you in a respectful manner instead of like yeah. be lying to you or lead you on. Yeah, like she could have said in that situation, like, hey, Aaron, look, you know, I'm not matchmaking. I actually just want to explore other people on the island. I like you, you know, and kind of give you a heads up so you could do your you know, due diligence and go meet other people or talk to other people if necessary. It, ha but it has to be that way because if not, Brian, you and I would have been talking shit about Aaron. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Which is Dude, yeah. Fair. And it's like, it's something I learned too because like you just said, you, you know, we shit on our own gender. Like when I was younger, man, like there were times where I wasn't as honest as I should have been. And there were times where I was, I loved someone, but I wasn't in love with them and I didn't make that clear. And I ended up, hurting someone I still loved because I was doing kind of what she did. And so that's the it issue became, right Yeah. And it became like, that was something that, that I will never do again to anyone. And I, and I would be single the rest of my life rather than, rather than get someone to emotionally put the, to put their emotional well being into my hands and for me to be irresponsible with, with them and their heart. Right. Um, and I will never do that. Right. And so if you, if you ask someone to commit emotionally and be emotionally involved with you, you have a responsibility to be honest with them. And I truly believe that. And that's right. something I tried to express to her because she was like, I want you to be in this with me and you want to try with me. You have to be honest with me. And I told her, I was like, I even if first it hurts, thing, even if, even it, hurts, if it, right? it hurts, man, because it won't hurt that bad. We've only been doing it a couple of days. What hurts that bad is what she did. And lying to me yeah. and humiliating me. So, yeah. talk, so, Aaron, talk to me about 
the whole si- the whole situation because you kind of I forgot what you said on the show, but you were kind of like karma's a bitch when she got dumped by Thomas and Thomas went after Becca. You kind of were like, oh, bad, too bad, so sad for you, Tammy. Like, talk to me about that, how you're feeling in that moment. Look, it's it's really in in that um, in that scenario. Like, I wanted her to feel better, but like, I was just like, dude, like, you're gonna have to like. I was just going through this, like, like pick yourself up, let's go, you know. So it was over at that point. Like, there was no coming back to you rekindling the emotions or lack thereof, I guess, but there was no going back to Tammy after that. I mean, for me, just because of the dishonesty, like it wasn't really about the kiss or, or, or anything, you know, like, like that's what people seem to be confused about. Like yeah. we're here to kiss people. You lay on the day beds, you, you kiss someone like that's whatever. It's, it's really like who, what, when, honestly, communication, like, I can be with her if she had kissed someone else, obviously. I, I, what I can't be with is someone that's dishonest with me and yeah, not that's upfront. A, that's, that's a bad fair. precedent for a relationship, I mean, to be dishonest right off the bat like that. That's fair. And then to what you were saying earlier, Aaron, in regards to, like, you don't want to be, you know, you have that responsibility to someone. You owe it to someone to be respectful in that regard. When people aren't that way, it's a cycle. Like legit, someone gets hurt and then you know, now you're hurt, so therefore you hurt someone else. Hurt people hurt people. It's just a continuum. And we just have to all be mature, get off the damn roller coaster and just try treating people with respect. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, hurt people hurt people. Um, you know, I was I was hurt, but I wasn't trying to like be spiteful. I wasn't trying to be rude to her, call her names. I was trying to express how I felt and move on, you know? Who, who was it? And when, you know, the homies talking now, who is the one girl that you wanted to be in paradise? Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm this is probably a really shitty answer, but I, I didn't watch really bachelor or bachelor nation that it's much. Not, and it's so not a shitty answer at all. And so I um, came out of Katie's season, and I didn't watch it before the season, um, and I didn't have the chance to watch my own season or or, or watch any other seasons between went Paradise. Paradise. Wow. I went straight to Paradise, so I didn't know anyone. Um, I was just really open minded. At the end of so the day, there was none of the girls that you were like more so attracted to from a IG look. Yeah, I mean. There probably would have been, but I just did, I didn't follow him on IG or, or see him either. I just, just simply didn't know who was coming or who was potentially coming. So, um, yeah. How much of a how much of a connection did you make with Becca? Because you went on the date with Chelsea, and then when you get back, Becca's going out with Thomas. So it's like once again, the rug is swept out from underneath you, and you're like, "What the fuck happened?" But I mean, were you more into Chelsea after that date or were you still having kind of some feelings for Becca? Yeah, great question. So um, I had a crush on Becca because so kind of, I guess, rewinding to what I said previously, she was like one of the only people I did recognize from Mm. um, from the past bachelor, bachelorette, whatever. Um, I thought Becca's like beautiful. You know, she's striking, uh, strikingly beautiful. So. I, um, I, I had a crush on her, like, but, but it was very, it, you know, I didn't know her very well. So I just thought she was, she was, you know, gorgeous. Right. And, and she was funny and I knew she was funny cause I'd seen some clips or something. Um, so, so I, I had a crush on her, but I didn't really nothing too crazy. So when I went on the date with Chelsea, the date was so good and so nice. Um, horseback riding, beach champagne you know like you can't really beat that and and when i came back like chelsea was kind of the only really one on my mind becca was with thomas becca and i had a a, you know a good conversation day before but nothing to where i was like felt too much of a connection i was nervous you know it was just it was just wasn't really that good of a combo and and um and with Chelsea, you know, the connection was much stronger at that point after the date. 
Aaron, I got a so, question, man. I, yeah. My bad, I'll cut you off. Finish that statement. No, you're good. I was just going to say, so I wasn't really, like, I wasn't really overly upset when upset. the What's Thomas it? Becca thing. Fair enough. I remember talking to you in L.A. for the uh, Bachelor in Paradise Ultimate Surfer premiere, talking to you, Trey, uh, you know, about things that took place or whatever. And you had told me some things, but now listening to you, be introspective right now, right? It came down to, you know, Tammy. Thomas, you know, took away Tammy. Then it came down to Chelsea. Uh, we see what happened there. Like, what can you say that you've gained from going on Bachelorette with Katie and then being on Paradise with these different situations that have happened? Who is Aaron now if I see you in the streets and we go out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me think about that for a second. It's, I, I gained a lot. Um, <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to say. I think before, um, the whole thing, like I, I hadn't really, these, the show, like, like all these conflicts and these, these situations you're put into or, or that you go through, um, in real life happen what, like once every 10 years, you know, you get in a fight or once every like yeah. five years, like when does a, a girl you're dating ever, kiss a guy that you hate right in front of you like yeah. it just never happens <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> it, just, it just never happens dude like they make good tv what can we say yeah it's like you see a guy i see a guy i hate like jump in the whip leave the room you know i'll just go to a different bar like whatever you like so like where's your where's your where are your emotions right now like is your heart an ice box right now because based on everything that went oh, down like are you box? open to dating really. Icebox where my because, heart used to be. Oh no. Yeah, Omarion? I gotta, gotta quote Omarion, right? Omarion right now, really? <laughs> what? Hey, it's, it, it It basically goes perfectly with what's going on right now because, I mean, first it was Tammy, then Becca, sort of, and then now Chelsea. Obviously, we don't know what happens, but damn, man, like, I, I feel sorry for you. I mean, granted, the, the entertainment value that you provide, but on the love department, it's like you're struggling, man, and I want to see you succeed and find somebody, and it just... It just hurts, you know what I mean, to see that go down. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Um, no, it's not an ice box, but um, it's like I before before the bachelorette and everything. Like I was already, you know, we're grown men. Like you go through heartbreak. Like you're more hesitant than when you were yeah. seventeen. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And then going through it, bachelorette was just kind of conflict like i wasn't really heartbroken from that because i didn't really get to the point with katie where it, it hurt to see myself go um but in paradise dude like yeah i mean that the the tammy thing hurt me like my feelings like a lot like it really truly did um and i still like i'm bothered by it because it was just so like it was just it was just i just is I don't know. It just bothered me so much. Where's um, your Where's your relationship with Tammy right now? Do you guys um, we're good. No, I mean, like we didn't speak really previous before. Like we've communicated a couple times. Like I, you know, I'm not gonna ever carry. You know, grudges are corrosive yeah, for your soul, right? So yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to carry that. But um, but we, you know, she lives in a different state. Like where it's not like we're we're hanging out or anything. Um, and I want her to be happy at the end of the day. Like I want everyone to be happy. I don't think anyone's inherently like a bad person necessarily. Um, I think that was a bad thing. Maybe she did it for a good reason in her mind and it was worth doing, but you know, it, it had a very negative effect on me. Right. So I, so, so right now I think I'm very cautious, um, you know, moving forward and, I've been through, I, you know, I, I've had some, some messed up things happen to me and I, and I definitely, you know, kind of wear that. And I, and I understand that, that, Home, that let me help can you. happen again. <laughs> Home, let me help you out right quick. Yeah. Like, I, I like you, right. Based on what our conversation was in LA for the premiere, right. And hearing you today with, you know, Tammy, Chelsea, a little bit of Becca mixed in there. There's a thing that's kind of like when someone smells it off of you. And I'm not talking about cologne. I'm talking about confidence, right? That shit is sexy. I need you to have that, pimping. Because when you have that, they sure. smell that, bro. Like, real talk. I'm talking to homie, homie to homie. <laughs> like, straight up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, need, I, mean, I need that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think, um, 
there's a little bit of like, uh, yeah, yeah, I know you, you're good. I think their confidence was a little bit affected. Um, well, you said it yourself. Like, you already went through all the worst situations. Yeah, yeah, I, man. And, environment, and environment know, is tough. Environment. Yeah, tough. and I know. I know. Like the next girl I date probably isn't gonna kiss Thomas right in front of me. You know? She probably won't. She probably won't. <laughs> Good, chance well, at that. Point, Good chance. At this point, it would be Ivan, right? The, the, the ah. be, but, <laughs> um, I don't know. His upper lip might be quivering. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Um, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. I mean, like, I know it probably won't happen, but uh, I definitely, it's definitely something that has affected me. Um, and yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. But man, I think like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I feel there that, you, you know, there you've, you you're, you're, you've grown and you're going to grow more from this whole experience. And you're going to take that with you to the next relationship. I mean, you definitely know what you want more. So after going through this, you want somebody that's honest, right? So that's like one of your main priorities. And yeah, man, just keep your head up, man, because you know, what, what's meant for you is meant for you, right? So if Tammy is out of the picture, if Chelsea's out of the picture, we don't know. You know, there's always somebody around the corner. You know what I mean? So keep your yeah. head up. Thank you, man. And you All guys right. seem to do. You guys seem to understand me as well, or at least kind of, or at least you know. I think you guys can put yourself in my mind and understand what makes me tick. And I'm not a roid rage a hole that I saw someone say earlier. <laughs> no, we don't. I don't oh, think that. Oh, like that. Well, I, I just want a little that respect, that bro. That's all you want. Come on, you're now. Not, you're not a roid rage a asshole, bit. bro. Not at all. <laughs> But not, not even a little bit. <laughs> Aaron, we're, we're about to end this right quick, man. You've been an amazing, amazing guest on here. Brian ends it all sentimental. I'm going to end it. <laughs> I want some tea, bro. So we're going to play a little game called FMK, or as we would say, Fantasy Suite, get down on one knee. She ain't getting a rose. That's how we're going to do it, to be respectful. Nice, okay? <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to kill nobody. Then. Yeah, so we're going to play. All right, these are, if she doesn't get a rose, then it's, Fantasy suite, then it's engaged. Boom, okay. boom, room. Boom, boom, room. Yeah, we'll do boom, boom, room, right? <laughs> uh, you already, you already, you already, you already know who the three girls are going to be. Keep it paradise. You already know who the three girls are going to be. Tammy, Chelsea, Becca. Tammy, Chelsea, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> um, Put him on the spot, Mike. It's much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Decline to answer. No, <laughs> no we ain't doing that today. I plead the fifth. We're not doing that, homie. Not at all. No, I don't know. I mean, I would say Tammy just not getting a rose. Just can't do it. Um, I'm gonna say Becca. Let's go to the room and uh, Chelsea. Will you marry me? Nuptials. There, there we go. go. There we go. There <laughs> All right, dude, go. Let, let's end it with this. The episode obviously ends in a cliffhanger with the lip quivering. But if you could describe <laughs> in one word the drama that is yet to come, what word would you use? Um, sensational. 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 Wait, that's, okay. that's what Future said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Right? Sensational. <laughs> How should we interpret that? Does that mean that's really good that's for you, I imagine? Line. Both of y'all um, are just using these hip hop lines. I know. Ice Box, the Marion sensational feature. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I would say, I mean, like, like you guys know what you're getting out of me most times, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm. You've seen me be mad, angry, happy, sweet, funny, whatever. I'm a, just a real person, so there you go. You know, on on screen, and and I'm not, I'm not hashtag sweet Aaron. You know, you don't see. You don't see me only one side of me. You see kind of every side. And so uh, I think that that genuine kind of authenticity is really resonating with people, at least right now. It seems to be um, so grateful for everyone that, you know, kind of you guys too. Like you guys seem to really pick up on it. And, and I can't help but, you know, thank you for the support. And, um, yeah, I think next week, like, you know, you guys know what's going to happen. Like, let's be honest. Like, you saw the lip quiver. Like, he said, she she said, take, he's, he saw the lip quiver. He said, take a walk. Like, when and when oh, when does a grown oh when does a grown man walk up to you nose to nose say take a walk and you and you take a walk right? So, <laughs> yo, the bachelor needs to do a Jake Paul type boxing match, and I oh, promise gosh. you, I want to be the commentator. Me and Will, I want to be the commentator <laughs> for that. And I need you. I need them to have you. And like Ivan a tournament? In the ring. You're talking about like yeah. a tournament? I, no, I need I need Aaron Ivan in the ring, and I want them on the like on the billboard to say, 
Why your upper lip quivering, bro? <laughs> God. <laughs> well, like first thing, bro, like uh, Snake Peak, bro, his upper lip's quivering, then his bottom lip starts quivering, then he starts shaking like oh, all man. over again. <laughs> I, I'm in my home. I'm gonna have to talk to him about this. But Aaron, you've been amazing. <laughs> Love having you on today, man. Hey, man, appreciate, appreciate you, bro. It. I appreciate you guys, dude. Thank you for uh, thank you for the time. And uh, yeah, big fans of both of you. Looking oh, forward to next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shoot me a shoot me a DM. Let me know what you think. <laughs> All, right, All right, buddy. Oh man, that was a uh, refreshing and honest conversation with Aaron. What do you think, Mike? No, that's what talking out is all about. Just some homies yeah, having yeah. a conversation all across the board. I think he was just himself, which I got to yeah, appreciate. Yeah. You know, and it was it was really cool to get the context and the behind the scenes, and for him to be able to like flush out, you know, the multiple relationships that he had, you know, with the women on the island. I mean, I think it was good to hear, uh, and I think a lot of people will will hear things that you know maybe they didn't realize were going down were actually going down. I mean, he answered my biggest question, which was in regards to Ivan. Talking yeah. to Chelsea, I wanted to genuinely want to know how much time he had taken yeah. place. So. No, for sure. No, Thirty no, minutes so later, I got I got a side with Aaron, man. Yeah, no, in that Aaron. regard, because I was unsure, you know, it could have been because I, I like Ivan as well, but ooh, yeah. Ivan, homie, you messed that one up. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, to all of our listeners, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. We love y'all. You know, we always love to hear your opinions, your stories, and your insights. So please don't forget to like, comment, follow, mess us on social, and talking about being on IG. And Bachelor Nation on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and listen to us on the Odyssey app or wherever you listen to right now, baby. And don't DM me no more until you hit that subscribe. I love y'all.